For this week's short, I'm going to talk about wget, right? So wget is a way to get full files into your Jupyter Notebooks or your Google Colab. And it's super simple, especially if you're giving your Colab or your Jupyter Notebook to somebody else. You don't have to send them the file with it. You can store the file in somewhere like GitHub and then they can go and get the file. So just to show you where my files are, I have um, a file in Super Data World in Python and it's called Student Performance. And when I, when I go into the raw of this file, I can see my, my CSV here. So this is my CSV held in GitHub on raw uh, user content, right? So what I can do is I can just take this link and put it into my either Jupyter Notebook or Google Collaboratory. It's a slightly different way to do both, but you can take this file and then use it to pull into a data science note. So in the Collaboratory itself, I've got um, import pandas as PD, and this is really simple, just a exclamation point space wget then your URL. So you can see that this is the same URL as this, and then I'm just gonna read in my uh, CSV. It's gonna pull that in. You can see it pulls the file into the Colab itself. So that file is now sitting here. Um, it's got, I've taken it in a few times, so it's now coming in studentperformance.csv.2. That's sitting in there, and then ahead of that file, is this and I've just taken that in straight from uh, github and it's as simple as that all you need is uh, explanation point w get then the url and then do whatever you want with it slightly different on jupyter notebooks what you have to do first is you have to pip install w get that's the first thing I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again then we're going to import pandas as pd and slightly different syntax here you're going exclamation point python um, dash m w get and then the URL, and then you're bringing in as a data frame. So what this will do is it will actually, um, this will actually download it to your computer. So when I run this here, it says saved under student performance one dot CSV, and this is actually in the same drive as the the Jupyter notebook on my computer now. And same thing, w dot head, and we have our data here. So very quick video easy way to get data into your notebooks and get ready to do some data science with it and it's just i just found it as such an easy way i'm actually teaching a class and work on just some introductory python stuff and instead of having everybody having to get the csvs and to know how to put it into the same file and all that and especially if we're using google collaboratory which would restart the runtime every time and you have to import the file every time you can just do this wget and you're ready to go hope you found this short useful and i'll see you next time for another python tutorial